and once I have a qu sorry, sorry. Well, me, you, you can reverse that. X. What? X. Somebody had asked uh, X if uh, would would you be okay if uh, your girlfriend was best friends with Andrew Tate? Well, I I don't want any of my friends being friends with Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is a fucking moron. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm fucking <laughs> Nah, nah. Um, uh, we can, you know, best friend. You're a, fam you're a famous Twitcher, bro. We could we could do a really we could get a lot of pay per views on a boxing match anytime. Bro, 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 bro. Have you seen these sticks I got? I, these are literally fucking. These are sticks. I can't can't fight with that. <laughs> bro, I did I did one tap. I don't I don't I'm still not scared of saying that. It's like it, it, I I don't know. It's like. It's not, even, it's not even comparable. Like if I said, best, biggest fucking UFC fighter, Colossus, fucking seven foot Andy. I mean, he's going to clap you too. It's all a matter of scale. Of course. Well, this uh, this is my point. The point is that I don't think that most male-female friendships are truly and utterly completely platonic. I think if any woman's honest, she'll admit that too. And for the same reason I discussed earlier, while I wouldn't let someone attempt to break into my Lambo, I would not let some man come along under the shield, under the guise of friend. I'm not going to let some dude come along, put on a friend hat, and try it on with my chick permanently. That's bullshit. And she shouldn't want that either. She should say, this guy obviously wants more. I'm not talking to him. Or I'll talk to him only at work for X event. That's it. And, 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 and I know these views for some reason. I don't know why these views are extreme. These are because not. Really these are not. The rest of them are kind of extreme. They are, they are legitimately. That one is not too extreme because, um, yeah, a lot of people have these intentions that are, that are preemptive. And when they see somebody that's like attractive or whatever, yeah, they'll be friends and trying to, try to snake their way in or whatever. But I would just... What? Would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's her friend? Would your mother say that again? Would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's just my friend? Would your Would your father tolerate that? Uh, they're not together. They're divorced. Okay, but I'm talking about a different generation, right? Let's imagine people who married 40, 50 years ago. Would they? Would Was it normal? Was it normal then for dudes for chicks to be hanging around with a bunch of dudes and saying he's just my friend only 30, 40 years ago, or is this all new thing? A friend, it depends on what kind of activities you do. I mean, dude, it, 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 you can have friends doing a bunch, a bunch of shit. Like, they can go fucking... Maybe they like playing golf together. Maybe they like... It's, it's new think, my friend. And what you must understand is that the things I'm talking about are, were perfectly normal and completely and utterly oh, accepted. Oh, you're one of these not, guys. Okay, okay. It's not one of these guys. It's about accepting that society has changed and that new think is untested. And when you look at untested think, because that's what it is, it's untested by the definition of being new in and of itself, it's untested. It's an untested paradigm. We had relationships for a very, very long time, thousands of years, where when a woman was with a man, she only spoke to that man. In most of the world today, still that is the case. You may live in America, but if you go to Africa or any of the Middle East or Asia or even Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, any of these places, if you think these chicks are, have male friends, then you don't understand the world very well. America. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse and say in the age of a Mesopotamia or some shit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, girls had, had had friends and shit and then stuff with other guys. Yeah, th things change. It doesn't devalidate them as untested. A lot of things were untested previously. Like, uh, how does that prove anything? What, like, what is that? New equals bad thing? Like, what, I don't know what that is. New new doesn't equal bad. New equals untested, which means you don't know. Nobody knows how this new societal paradigm is going to play out. I can only talk from my personal experience. And my personal experience is that when a woman has a bunch of male friends and a boyfriend, the relationship doesn't last very long. That's my personal experience. I, I've seen it happen a thousand times. Yeah, I mean, I, if, if, that, if you date some girls unfulfilled of you so much that she's willing to give other guys a chance and keep you an open mind about who they're going to date and who they're with, that they're going to do that with, with people that they meet randomly. Bro. But if, she's, but if she's fulfilled, she wouldn't have male friends. You're pretending that a girl can be that's fulfilled. That's not true. And, that's not true. What, yes, it is. What, if, Bro, what if she already had a friend before before you, like oh, years, years ago? Understood. I, I've been with women and they've had a friend for a very long time. But I make it very clear to them, look, he clearly likes you. And if she's honest, she's like, yeah, I know. I keep my arm's length. And she's very honest and open with me about it. Oh, he just texts me trying to get me to go out. I'm not going to reply to him. And she'll, she'll distance herself on purpose. And she'll make it very, very clear that she's in love with me. And she'll keep him where he belongs. Very, 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 very firmly in the friend zone with no hope. Because okay. that's her job to do. I don't have to tell her to do that. Now, if I have to come along to a chick and say, you're giving this guy too much, hope. stop texting him. Blah, blah, blah. If I have to do that, then she doesn't respect me and I'm not going to be in that relationship. I'm not going to sit there and police her phone. Yeah, She'll hey. self 
herself. She'll self-police out of respect for me. If she's not doing, if she's not self-policing, then she clearly doesn't respect me very much. And I need to understand the chessboard. I need to look at the board and say, okay, I'm not very well respected in this relationship. She thinks talking to these dudes is more important than keeping me happy. It's only a matter of time until we okay, break up. We, okay, okay. I, I, I agree with this, but the, the problem is that you're lumping in, you're lumping two things that are, that are very, very, very different. Okay. Relationship needs and social needs that what they're not they're they're separate uh experiences you you saying and fearing the the social overall aspect of of, of your girlfriend saying that, they, that she's mixing that with 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 the with your personal relationship love right is a problem itself that is that is a problem that, that you cannot that, that you can't see there's a guy's social needs that is good to talk to other beings, hear new ideas, have different intellectual conversations with other beings than you. Bro, you, 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 you can't entertain all of her fucking uh, intellectual, whatever the fuck. Bro, they, they have to go out there and, 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 and talk and have fun conversations where they aren't having sex and having a love with somebody else. Like what? I'd appreciate if you'd stop using the word fear because I'm not fearful. So you can stop using that word, firstly. Secondly, well, I can't, it's hard because when you don't want something to do something, it's, it's out of fear. That, that's how it is. You think? Yeah, by default it is, but you are fearful of something happening. Yes. It's not about being fearful. It's just about having my boundaries as an individual. And, and boundaries of what? Boundaries that what will happen? Boundaries of what? What is the thing that you're shielding? You said boundary from what? Boundary oh, and shield from what? From something. Let me Bro, well, you don't wear you don't wear a fucking bulletproof vest being scared of the fucking wind. You wear bulletproof vest against guns and bullets, bitch. Sorry, me, I, 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 take, no I take the bitch back. I cannot pull that sorry. No problem. I, I don't mind. It's fine. I'll I'll answer your first original question about them being social. Women often, if they're with a man and they love that man, their social circle ends up involving or being built around that man. His friends become their friends. The girlfriends of the other, other guys that he's friends with becomes their friends. I'm not saying they're not going to have any friends and nobody outside of me. But anybody who is completely and utterly unrelated to me is to a degree an enemy combatant. You, you need to understand, my friend, that life as a man is ultra competitive and it is war. We are all competing with each other. Everybody's at war. The, okay. the whole thing is war. Girls at Every war, guys, everybody is at fucking war. Yes, life is a battlefield, and sometimes you gotta make choices and shit like that, and that's how you climb, motherfucker. You have to, you have to okay. take some down. It is what it is. It's a war, yeah. All right, but I would, I would argue that women, to a degree, call me misogynist, are a spoil of war. If you're a man and you've been to war, and you've been through enough shit, you get women, along with money, along with status, along with respect. Women are a spoil of war. They always have been. Look at the ancient times. They turn up, take the city, take the women. It's, women are a spoil of war. So all men are competing with each other for all the things men want. All of you Twitchers are competing with each other for views. I'm competing with people to make as much money as possible. If you're going to go try and get a chick, you're not the only person trying to get her. You are competing with people who are trying to get her too. And my point is this, if I win said war and a female becomes mine, I'm not gonna let an enemy combatant put on a friend hat and use that as a shield and a bullshit excuse to sit there and attempt to silently chip away at my relationship. Every single time she's unhappy with me or we have an argument and he's in her fucking phone saying, well, you could do better than him. Da -da. Anyone who thinks that that makes you secure to allow your chick to just be poisoned. Okay. It's not about security. So that's just responsibility. She is yours. She loves you. She adores you. Her social circle should include you and revolve around you. Anyone who comes along and has nothing to do with me, but still wants something to do with my chick is unacceptable. Okay. Okay. This is, I understand. So it's a spoils of war because you did something, right? Like, I want to fire back at you and say that where you, you're in a relationship, it has to be because you are something, not because you did something and you got something, because you are something. That's how you reach fulfillment in a relationship. You're with somebody who's with you because of you and you're then because of they are, they are them. What happens when you are, since you're using the battle, the war thing, right? You're fucking, you're, you're Achilles, the great fighter with a sword, right? And you smoke this big ass giant and you get the spoil, you get, you get, you get, in your words, you get the bitch. Now she comes to your tent and she gets to ride on the fucking stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. The spoils of war, right? Yeah, bro, yeah. Right, right, right. And then you have you build this relationship on the fact that you're such a successful fighter. The next day, something comes along, you go in the stairs and you fucking break your leg. Then it's all over, right? It's all over. You go back to your tent, it's crickets. She's fucking gone. Because you can't fucking jump and sword that guy anymore. You can't do the leap that Achilles did because you can't fight anymore. Therefore, it's gone, right? So what's the point? That, so you're saying that, that, that that's how it works. 
because she's not with you for you. She's with you because of some achievement, some some tangible event that you did, some some height that you got, and she, you shouldn't be worthy or you should be fulfilled of anything else but that one event. Well, I have two answers for that. Firstly, you said she shouldn't be with you for something. She should be with you because you are something. Well, how do you become something? Well, that's you become something. that's what you, you become. You become something by doing things. So you, you're trying to separate the two as if they're separate. It, you, they're se not. Separate, separate. There, you mm -hmm. is a lot of things. Your, your achievements is a small thing. Being not, successful not, isn't. Not, not, not in the realm of a man. In the realm of a man, oh. your achievements are 85% of all of who you are. As a man, you are judged solely on your status. You don't even have to be good looking. You need to be important. And you're only gonna be important by achieving important things. As a man, you are only an, you're only judged on your importance and your status. And also another point I wanna make, you made it sound like if I lose that next battle, she's gonna run away. Well, no, not completely, but I'll counter that. Not by saying, completely. No, no, but I'll, because, I will answer. I mean, now she's attacks you because you're a failure. She's to tax you on whatever you do because now you're not as good as you were before. So she's losing that part of success that you had. She's not, now it's she not, should tax you. Too much. Yeah, you, she should say, Andrew, you, give me 10 bucks a day, bro. So you have to, you have to you, go like a wagey to the market and sell peaches, right? Because you don't fulfill her now anymore. She lost something, bro. Get taxed, pussy. Do you think that women don't leave their man or initiate divorce when that man loses his job or can no longer financially provide? You think arguments- Bitch ass, unstable oh. ones do from people who can't select their women properly. When you do not, when she does not respect you, she will leave you. And respect is a multifaceted, it's a large and complex issue. But if you cannot provide as a man, if you are not competent, she will lose respect for you and eventually she will leave. For you to sit here to say that you can lose endless battles and your girl will stay with you anyway is dream world fallacy. Fallacy? I'm not even I'm a fucking Fallacy. warrior. I go through the, the downs and the ups. And I would assume the person that, that, that is with me knows I can lose a thousand battles. At the end, I will win the war some fucking hell. They know that because I built character and I built who I am as a person. And that per that person who's with, with me knows this and doesn't need some, some event or some win at least one battle out of ten so for me to stay secure. They don't need that because they know who I am. They don't need little, little battles. They know the war's won because she's with the fucking winner. That's okay, what's it. Well, that's our horse. Okay. All right. Well, if she's going to see you as a winner, even though you've lost a battle, which is fantastic, and that's how a woman should view her man, then she's only going to see you as a winner because she's seen you win a bunch of battles before. Any woman who's only ever seen you lose is not going to stand there and say he's a winner, is she? Um, yeah, that, yeah no. I guess that's a fair point. Yeah. No, my point is, my point is this. As a man... You are judged by females and by society at large on your competence. And your competence, by extension, means your ability to win in all scenarios. The more competent you are as a man, the higher status you are as a man. We don't just have to talk about money, right? My woman can come to me and say, there's a man outside with a knife. And I will go and deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I need a million dollars. I can deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I don't know the answer to this. I can deal with it. She can come to me and say, I need a second passport. I have to disappear. I need a second name. I can deal with it. I am competent in all realms. The more competent I am, the more she respects me. By extension, the more responsibility and authority I have over her and the less likely she has wanted to go to a club and shake her ass around. If I can't fix all of her problems, I have less authority. That's normal. I don't think, if I was a beautiful woman, I wouldn't be with a man who's not top fucking level. Why would I be? Because I have innate value. So to sit here and say that women don't give a fuck if you win or lose and that all of that is not true because it's too competitive. It's too competitive. There are too many men out here who want the hot chicks. A hot woman can have anyone she wants. She ain't going to choose the dude okay. who fucking is. With, with this definition then, you, you, are, you are admitting that any girl that dates you, right? Any girl that dates you is only with you uh, until she until she sees some guy who's who's more successful and has won more battles than you. Therefore, you shouldn't you shouldn't be with anybody, right? Because of who you are, right? No. Every no. every girl is always looking up at something better. The grass is always greener. There's there's you're just some pawn then, right? Because no. as, soon, as soon as you go to the yacht and some guy pulls up randomly that looks has like it has more money or has more no. followers or more whatever, she's gone because that guy has no. more battles. So, yes, that's, that's what you said. I'm using your argument. The guy has won more battles and is more stable. Why shouldn't she go to that guy then? I'm saying that that man will be a threat. Now, obviously, she's going to have an emotional attachment to you because you're going to have an established relationship, private jokes, time spent together. Then you're scared she's going to leave then. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. You of are. Yeah, that, that is what... Because he I, has I, something you don't. I have something I that will, nobody else has. Nobody. Not even you, cool. him, the president. I'm myself. Cool. That's all I well, think then, I need. 
cool. Well, then I, I, I would put it this way. I would expect any man listening to this stream to see me as a threat. Because if you don't see me as a threat, then you are literally stupid. If you see your girl talking to me, I expect you to be like, fuck. He ticks too many boxes. He's too competent. And he's too good at certain things. I don't need him near my woman. Now, she ain't going to run away straight away. No. But if I keep talking to her and you and her have a little bit of an argument, she's going to end up doing something that she might, she might even regret it. But she's going to end up doing it. That is the nature of humanity. Now, to sit here and say that I, because I'm me, I'm so secure, I'm not threatened by nobody, da 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 da. That's not true. That's not that's not an intelligent way to approach things. I'm a world champion fighter, right? If I see a man in my garden late at night, he may not be able to fight like me. I still don't want him near my house. Who the fuck are you, right? That's still a threat. It's still somebody who wants what I have. So it's not even it's not even as black and white as you're trying to make it. The point, another point you're trying to make, I think, I don't, but, I think but, you're trying but, to Okay, but he's not even competing. It, you, you already won. It's, 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 I mean, there's no competition. You are yourself. No, no. You've shown that. So why do they need anything else? If, the if competition. They're... Go on. Well, well, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's not, it's not, it's not competition. I mean, why, why would you, there's no competition. You have what nobody else has. How is that, how is that, how is anybody competing with that? Well, we're all different, right? There's, there, I, I have things that nobody else has in some realms, but you guys have things I don't have, right? If there's a chick who's, a, who's in love with Twitch, you're all more important than me. That's fine. But it's not about that. It's, it's, it's not even about that. The point I'm trying to make is, I think you were trying to say earlier that a girl's only with me because I have certain things, because I have X, Y, Z, et cetera. But, well, that's, I, that's not her fault. It's your fault, because that's how you set it up to be. Well, I agree, you are I agree. creating your own demons by, that, by, that, by the division. It's not a demon. I agree that women are only with me Shallow females are only with me because I'm big, tall, strong, rich, interesting, compendious, because I have char 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 charisma, because I can fix their problems, because I have a good, a well-connected network, because I'm important and respected and high status. I agree women are only with me for all those things. That does not mean that their love is not true. You think that a woman who's only with a guy because he's big, tall, strong, handsome, and rich doesn't love that man? <laughs> You're only with her for her titties and you love her? So what the fuck are you talking about? You're trying to pretend they're separate. They're the same fucking thing. Huh? Bro, bro, listen. You're talking to the big titty guy. I fucking love titties, okay? There's nothing... I, I, I don't give a fuck if people say I'm a child of that. I fucking love titties. And I don't even agree with that, okay? I love titties more than anybody else. And, and just the titties, you're it's just not, not good enough. It's just not. That was, I, was, I, was make, I was making a point humorously, so I'll make the point now professionally. If you're only with a woman because she is loyal, kind, soft, adoring, and beautiful, and she makes you feel happy, are you shallow? Oh, I said it again? That was, that, that was a lot. She's loyal. She's adoring. She's funny. She's gorgeous. She makes you feel happy. She, your friends love her. She lives in your house. She cooks. She cleans. You feel good when you're around her. Are you shallow to be with that woman? No. Why would I be shallow? Oh, so if a woman's only with you, or me, or anyone else, because she looks up to you and sees you as strong, rich, competent, interesting. You can protect her. She will likes to be guided by you. She likes talking to you. Is she shallow to be with you because you're purely high status? Um, no. So no, the, well, the point I'm making is that okay, right. okay, you're like, okay. Yeah, I agree like, with you. Because you're no, that's just one of the reasons she loves me. Okay, okay, okay. It's it's all about proportions. Okay. Think about, think about it. Like I said earlier, the poly, the motherfucking polygon. Okay, if it's a polygon, it's like a, it's like a, it, it kind of, it fills on, on certain sides because of certain strengths. Okay, what I'm saying is that you can, you can have a little bit of everything, right? A little, a little bit of everything. But if the reason why she's there is mostly the things that are fucking uh, uh, tangible, right? Like, like money or whatever. If most of it is that it's the money and the status or whatever, that's a fucking problem. You want, you want it to be a nice balance, somewhat, of everything, so it feels fulfilling in all ways, and good, and, and feels good. It's a good thing. All the, so, so if, it, if, if it goes with you, because of 3% uh, whatever, 3% intellect, 5% whatever, and then 40% money, and 30% looks, what, what, happens, what happens if um, your investment all fall flat and you get old? Uh, in, in 10 years. Then, then you, that woman, out the window. Okay. You get, because most of the reason why she likes you, most of the reason is these tangible dog shit, and then boom, it's gone. Agreed. Agreed. And then I what? Never said and then case. what? And then what? What do you do then? Then you're going to find another bitch. What do, I never said that wasn't the case. Oh uh, what do you want me to say? I never said that wasn't the case at all. I'm saying that women are attracted to tangible things. It's a tangible world. I said this earlier. Now, I, I've never been with a woman who only loves me for money. 
I'm not a sugar daddy. I'm not like that as a person. I have a lot of money, but my women who are with me, they don't get like presents and cars, none of that shit. Like they can live in the house and I'll take them out for dinner, but they, they could get with a man with less money than me and get a lot more money out of said man. So I understand the point you're making. Yeah, if a hooker's with a dude purely for money and he and runs how do you know money, that? And how do you, how do you know that? Okay, I know that because of how my relationship's set up. Because if they were with me for money, they'd, they'd choose someone else because they don't get Well, me. I mean, they're not, they're, not, they're not to worry, they're not to do shit. They, they live for free. So how do you know they're not with you only because they can live for free and, and a good life and a very fancy life? How do you know that I for certain? How do you, how do you build that framework, right? Where, where they, they display they're with you for all these other intangible things that, whatever, from you that isn't only life stability and, and status? Good question. Good question. So what we need to do is we need to get this Twitch stream. About we need to get every, every single stay-at-home mother, every single stay-at-home wife in the entire country, and we need to ask them how we know they really love their husband. They're not just with them, so they don't need to have a job. Let's do that, shall we? That's that's that doesn't I make didn't sense. ask these fucking degenerates it's or me. I asked you. Also, 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 is that lady billing you a new fucking back and rearrange your fucking bones? Why is it being misogyny for a full hour straight, bro? What is she doing out there, man? Dude, bro, what the fuck? There's gotta be some sort of fucking osteopathic replacement or some shit. I have a lot of muscle. It's it's painful to carry around. It's a two hour massage. But um, she get like can she get like a little break or like some water? Of course, she gets water. She works hard. She's here every day. She loves me. She's fine. She's my best friend. She's okay, well looked at. Uh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Hey 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 hey! Sorry, lady. You better watch this guy's girlfriend. She's about to get jealous because he has a best friend that isn't her. Holy shit! Why? Watch the fuck out! <laughs> hey hey yeah. hey! Hey! Somebody I tell her. I want to say one more thing that will really trigger you, but this is true. All the rules I've been saying and all the things I've saying that apply to women don't apply to me. I can go to the club when I want. I can have as many female friends. So I can do whatever I want. So okay. let's just make it. <laughs> okay. I, I can do as much as I want. Because I'm the boss. You're the boss? So I can do the fuck I want. Right? Top so, G. Yeah, Top G. My chick can't come to me and say, who's this chick? Like, Some bitch. Why are you talking to her? Because I fucking want to. Well, I'm allowed. I mean... I mean, in a way, when, a when, you, when, you have, when you have these two things, right? These... Grant in that polygon when you have a crazy amount of money. I mean, why the fuck? Why the fuck would you care? I mean, you 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 can uh, do whatever the fuck. You can do crazy sh outlandish I, shit and still well, have security. I, I it's true, but I don't I don't like people thinking that women are only with me for money because it's actually the absolute opposite. I only first ever made serious money because I had so many women when I was broke. So let's keep that in mind. Firstly, so I had women when I had no money. And why? So because I, you were good looking or other things? What was it? Because, oh, you had, because, because, you, because you had good hair? What happened when you went bald? You think maybe some woman was only because of, you, because of your hair? But now you're bald. What happened then? I'm not bald. I shaved my head. I could grow all my hair back if I decided. Bro, we can but see the hairline. It's like a whole McDonald's uh, symbol. It's here. But um, it's because I was a world champion fighter, I'd assume. And because I'm interesting and smart, I guess. I'm good looking enough. I'm big. I had lots of reasons. I had lots of things about me that women liked, clearly. Because they listened to me and they helped me make up millions and millions of dollars. So it's, not just, about, it's not just about money. Yo. How do you, how are you hiding Los Poyos' video? Like, like, how do you do that? You right click. And wh what do you click? Yeah but, what do you, yeah, yeah, but what do you click? <laughs> you right click, you just show my camera or disable video. Really? Good shit. Thank yeah. you, brother. Oh, I never knew that. Continue, guys. So, yeah, this is a very interesting conversation. I would like to, if I had the time, which I know, we could do a really interesting study. We could, you get a new girlfriend, I get a new girlfriend. I give mine my set of rules, and you give yours your set of rules, and we see who lasts longer. <laughs> who la wait, who <laughs> lasts longer? Bro, life doesn't work like that. We can't just fucking full reset and get, like, brainwashed, like, clean, clean, you can't. That's the problem with life. How do you, okay, this is one I've had problems with life. How do you know you have the tools and you have what it, what, you have what it takes to make it if you can't full reset? How? It's, it's hard. It's, it's hard. You, you, don't, you don't ever know for sure, right? I wish, I, can we do a poll in the chat? Is it possible to do a poll? Yeah, yeah, you can do a poll, yeah. yeah. Okay, just ask and say, if your girl goes to the club with men all the, or no, sorry. I mean, I got that wrong. Poll, I, 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 do it again. I, you, you have to give me the specifics. Poll, if question. Your girl, if your girl can go to the club whenever she likes with her girls, are, is she more likely or are you more likely to break up than if she doesn't go club? That's the question. And let's see what people think. Maybe I'm wrong. It's fine. I'm, I have no problems being wrong. Like, I don't her give girls, a fuck. The girls clubbing. Without with you. Her, with her girls. Your girl, without you very often, are you more likely to break up? Boom. What shit? Hold up. Andrew, you're looking at my shit. So I'll just, I got you. So wait, you want me to put yes or no or break up or not break up? Yes or no is fine. I just did break up, not break up. Uh, one, one minute pull, one minute pull in the chat. I, my, 
X, mine's ninety five percent breakup. Mine's uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but you you you, 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 you stream to a bunch of fucking preteen fucking cool Mirandis up in his bitch, just like just like I am. You stream what's to a bunch of skateboarding fucking. What's the oh, question? Exactly, what's the question? I am Aiden, as biased as you. We are not what rooted. We are not rooted in rationality. What These guys spam the W when this guy shows up on screen because holy they, shit. Was that what trend? is the question? What if is your question? girl goes out clubbing with her girls without you, are you more likely to break up with her? Than not. My my okay. my personal answer is no, one hundred percent no. Okay, because if she goes to the club, it has nothing to do with my my st my uh, relationship stability, and isn't getting something she isn't getting from me by going out there, right? And she's fulfilling other needs, uh, socially that she enjoys. That makes me even less likely to break up. You, I think you are more likely to be broken up with, right? If you allow her to do less things that she enjoys doing. And a story. I want my girl to feel pretty, and if she's bomb and hot and fucking sexy, I want her. I want her. I want her to be able to feel, like, feel that. I want her to be able to do, do, do that. What the fuck she wants? She's not gonna fucking sit at home in her pajamas. Oh fuck. She just like you like to have your fucking top off so we can see your titties and your traps. Okay. She likes sometimes looking nice and having some cleavage so she feels sexy when she looks at her in the mirror. It has nothing to do with what she's getting out of others. It's how she sees herself. Oh, I'm sexy. I wanted to feel that way. I wanted to say, "Hold on, I'm so fucking sexy." I think that's fucking hot as shit. Yeah, I, yeah, I love it when your girl comes to the club with her tits out. I love it. Oh yeah, because you can look like a fucking like a uh, window shopper, like when you're broke, right? That's right. And I know that she comes Only back home and sucks my balls, and not probably not yours, and nobody else that's is right. in the world. That's right. That's security. Thank you. That's right. You're right. Security. You're right. No, you're totally right, man. Everyone's window shopping. No one's touching they, her. Just you, they, right. they are window shopping. They absolutely, absolutely are. Yeah. So, like I said, you are scared. People are not window shopping when your girl goes out. Uh, yeah, so I only, you're right. All my girls are ugly, clearly, and I'm, I'm very fearful. No, that's not what I said. I didn't say ugly or looks. I said, I, I, what I said is, what I said is, what you're saying is that you intend that if you were going out, people will not be window shopping. They wouldn't be touching. They, they would not. Oh, no. Look, I, I, I hang around with many beautiful women. They get a lot of attention, and we go out with me, and, and they get shitloads of attention. Of course, it's not. That's, that, that's good. That's a good thing. Absolutely. That doesn't mean that they're touching, though. But they're with me. I wouldn't send them to the club by themselves. And and you know what's actually? I know this is very unusual. So you have to be room. close when something when something that you don't like happens happens. I know this is maybe unusual to an American audience, right? But I live in Romania. So in Romania, if you go to a club and she's not with a man, she's single. The the idea that a woman has a boyfriend and goes to the club without her boyfriend is literally it doesn't exist. So you either you see women with their men and you see women standing on their own and everyone knows they're the single ones. It's impossible for a girl to have a boyfriend and still go out. That, that's just the, the societal norm. Same in Russia, same in most of Eastern Europe, same in all of Asia, same in the Middle East, same in Africa, same that, in most that, of the world. That's cultural <laughs> shit. You know, you're comparing the, the, the East, the West, Middle Eastern. Cultures. We're comparing cultures now. We're comparing the culture of the Western United States to other countries. The Western United States is a country with the highest divorce rate, the most suicidal males, girls are sleeping with the most men, the most porn stars, the most fucking OF, the cam, and all this other trash. You're going to try and defend the society, which is the most degenerate on the fucking planet? There's nothing fucking respectable well, about... Well, I live in here. I, I, I don't have any other choice. I, I, I like living here. I live here. That's about it. End of story. I'm not going to fucking... My, my ideas are not unusual most places on the planet. They may be unusual to an American audience in a degrading society full of disgusting... Okay. Immoral with this but mindset, you, you, the girl of your dreams is actually not even alive right now. She's probably is stuck in the fucking cave ages with the fucking uh, with, with, with the, the mindset that they had back then of the animals and fighting. So by definition, your 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 soulmate or best fit is in the fucking minus two million or some shit. There is no such thing as a soulmate because as a man, you mold your woman. I take any woman and, and she becomes my soulmate by obeying my rules. And if she doesn't obey, we break up. So that woman, the women are malleable. My point is I could take an American woman and she would combi she would abide by my rules because that's who I am. It's not about that. My point is you're defending- Why, why would I have to obey? In that, dude, dude, I feel like the, the way you're saying that obey, then in that, in that sense, the way we use the word obey, she could do, you can make her do any tricks whatsoever. fucking ever. She can make, you can make her do anything if she has to obey. What the fuck is that, man? Well, it's, it's comply. Like if they don't want to comply with my rules and my, my, my views on how a relationship should run, then they should leave. That's normal, right? Um, a woman gets with me. I think it wants to be this way. She doesn't want it to be that way. Then we break up. What's the problem? But if she stays, yeah, that, that, was, that was both ways though, with girl and woman and, and men, right? Correct. A woman could come to me and say, "I expect you to do X, Y, Z, Andrew." And if I do those things, we stay together. And if we don't, we break up completely. 
But my point is that my rules are that I can do whatever I want in certain regards, and she can't. Those are my rules because I have responsibility. Okay. In a th it, it makes sense. So, so, so you are <clears throat> inherently superior, right? Therefore, you command, you, you command the boat. I'm, I, as an analogy, I just always felt like button ship, it's more like a, like a plane, you have a co-pilot, right? You have a co-pilot. You think it's the opposite. You have a ship and you're the fucking captain and they are the, the whatever mother sucker down on the board and you do this and you do that and you obey the captain. I'm the captain mother sucker, right? And you, as Andrew, no girl is above you. Not a single breathing woman on earth is above you and commands you or could command you because you're above somehow. Right? I, I could argue that, but to, just for the sake of keeping things simple, I'll, I'll, that's 85% correct. Yeah, correct. 85% how? Because you're saying like no woman's above you, that you're trying to use it as a misogynistic term, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that in a relationship, someone has to be in charge. And I think the most healthy relationships are relationships with the man in charge. And there are certain domains in which I'm always going to excel. And because of that, let me give you another example. And then we're going to change subject, hopefully. Last example. Sure. You're, you're walking down the street with your chick. I come up to you. Or, or forget me, 10 UFC guys come up to you. Your chance of winning is 0%. Zero, yeah. But they, okay, but they want, they want to physically harm your female. It is your masculine duty and your imperative to at least attempt to protect her. Do you agree? What? Bro, this isn't World of Warcraft. You don't fucking, you don't AOE the mobs down, bro. Like, this isn't some fucking primitive, you're against a lion type shit, bro. It's an unwinnable fight. Nobody would take that fight. By the likeness, okay. I would hope my girl knows we cannot win this fight. We must both run. And we both run. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. But let's, let's say they're about to drag your woman into a bush and have their way with her. Unless you tr at least attempt to protect her. Do you feel like you have a masculine duty, even in the face of unwinnable odds, to at least attempt her protection? Yes or no? Bro, th these, what it, you made fun of me for my scenarios. What is this scenario of some obscure fucking like hentai shit, man? What the okay, fuck I'll am I talking? What are we talking about here, man? Right, I'll change it then. If you want to pretend that that's not a very reasonable question, even though it is. Ten dudes it. are dragging the woman. <laughs> the woman. Well, uh, I, 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 yeah, in in a bush, and you have to fight one v nine, bro. You wouldn't even win that if you were fucking Naruto, man. Like, that's fair. I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about your imperative. I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about do you have a duty? Do you have a masculine duty? To Where does that attack? duty come from? <laughs> that both. Okay. Both partners okay. have to help each other in, 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 in some ways. Uh, you, you, you know. Both partners. Okay, so you need your chick to fight for you. I get it. Next question. Let's say you're alone in your house. Wait, you wait, wait. Hey, hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hey, let's, let's roll it back a little bit. So you say, you, you say that, that, that the girl can't fight for you, right? Because it's not her role. Whenever she made her character, she didn't choose fucking defender or melee. She chose fucking female. So they can't fucking fight. What the fuck is that? So what, if, 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 you get, if you get jumped by three dudes, right? And you're getting absolutely boned, okay? And she has a gun, right? She cannot shoot because the woman do not fight. The woman cannot fight. She can't fight for you, right? But because you're so you're such a lion, bro, right? Bro, oh. bro, come on. You're gonna want me three of them, right? That's not the point. If my female had a gun, I'd tell him to shoot every fucker. That's not what I'm saying. Well, uh, but now she fought for you. That's that, that's that's not male, bro. That's that's not that's not fucking warrior mode. She, uh, you let the fucking female fight for you? Come on, Andrew. You're better than that. Come on. Let me. Change the question because you want to pretend my question is, is not very reasonable, even though it is. Because we're talking about masculine duty and authority and responsibilities. We're not, it's a hypothetical. So let me change it. You and your woman are asleep in bed upstairs. You hear someone break into the house downstairs. Who goes downstairs? Nobody. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> hold on, hold on. X2, so you're not going down there? Nobody's going down there. So what do you come upstairs? Bro, you got to you gotta protect. Bro, I'll keep it a buck. Protect? Real quick. protect? Real quick. Real quick, I'll keep it a buck. No, no, no. My time. job is to survive, not protect. My job is to survive. And sometimes that means to get to go down there, the guy's a gun. It doesn't what matter you, what the fuck I do. We are, of you, we are both going down. By doing, no. the, by doing the smart thing, the analytical thing, the strategic thing, we can both survive. If I go Come down, on. not only am I jeopardizing myself, I am jeopardizing both of us by not being smart and a leader in that regard, we are even more in danger if I go down I'm than if I not go down. But you're hi you're hiding though. You're hiding. So, like you gotta try to protect your girl. What? No. Why is that crazy, bro? Bro, you are losing your. You live in America, right? No, you're you're losing your mind. Okay, my my job is not to protect. Breaks in my house. I'm, go I'm my I'm job is them. to survive. 
Yeah, but my so in the in the in the scenario we're describing, you're upstairs. You hear someone break in. Your girl turns to you and goes, "Someone's in the house. Someone's in the house." One of you has to go downstairs. Why? Is why? It, why did you go downstairs? Why? Why, why, why did you go there? Why? Is it, you why, are, why do you have to go down there? Why? If you don't believe you have any kind of intrinsic masculine duty to at least attempt to protect your female, then that explains why we disagree on every single point. Yes, not, I'm going to give you four words further than that. I even uh, have a, 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 a even higher duty to not protect her, to not even protect myself. I, I have a duty to fucking woman. survive. Surviving in a scenario means if somebody breaks into the house, he's... Okay, listen, Andrew. If somebody breaks into the house, he is more likely than not likely to have a certain tool to get in, or a weapon. If I do not sure. possess that weapon, right? I am not going down there with bare hands there because we will both you die. You can have a weapon. I'm not saying you don't have a weapon. I'm saying. Oh, another, uh, another all, and then you break it down. Another fucking argument like that, bro. You need to stop doing that. You go, I'm not I was just shoving you in a bat. You're I was fucking shoving you in a bat. I'm bringing a bat down. I don't know. I you need I to stop doing that shit again. Yeah. Of Start with a blanket I've argument an and then I've breaking been, it down. Quiet. You gotta stop doing that. Listen, 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 okay? Let me hop in real quick, okay? <laughs> What both of you are saying is the same thing, just different tactics, okay? The question needs to be asked in a more clear way, okay? What we're talking about here is instinct. Instinct. What is, as a man, your instinct? So whether you go down or whether you stay up and hide, instinctually, immediately you get protective over the woman, right? And she may instinctually get protected over you. Now, what you do doesn't matter. The point is you both get instant instinct to survive, and to protect, right? That's what we're talking about here, okay? The tactic is irrelevant. What we're talking about here is instinct. The, the most Continue. likely, game, okay, game. Okay. You, you look at the, at the playing field, right? You look at what do you have and what is the most likely to happen and you choose the most favorable outcome for both parties to live. Whether that's running, whether that's hiding, whether that's like going to the ceiling, it's anything that we will do to stay out just like the animals do. If they cannot fight with weapons they don't have or tools they don't have, they run. It's called fight or flight. It's whatever right. is the best best tool or, me, or to me, survive. You're, 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 you're making very simple questions complicated. Let me change the question. Again, twice. Three, you're upstairs. No, it's not, I'm not. I'm changing the question because your answers are stupid. So it's a, your it's a, bro. Your answer stupid bro because everyone knows that you have a duty to protect your woman and you're pretending you don't i don't agree i don't not even a little bit bro well then may, perhaps you are a coward but let me give you the last chance i it, I, I, way, I, 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 I survive no, no, hold on guys 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 listen 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 this, this is crazy to me because it's both going over your both of your comments are going over each other's heads okay listen your tactic listen both of you have the same instinct as a male okay your tactics are different do you understand you're, you're, you're both agreeing with each other you're just arguing whose tactic is better which is irrelevant to the argument both of you both no, of you no. have the instinct to protect your woman and the woman has the instinct to protect the man your tactics are just different yours is to go downstairs and to manhandle the dude xqc's is more tactical in the sense what she but wants the to the guy has hide. a gun the guy has a gun i know nope. it's not wrong it's not bad what you're saying then is what the, guy's guy's agree, then what the instinct is to survive and protect no one said the guy has a gun, and we're not. And you were right. So now the, the, the guy, the guy doesn't have a gun. Point I'm trying to make is that when if if somebody in this hypothetical, <laughs> if somebody has to deal with the threat and engage, if someone did, between you and your female partner, who would be the person who decides to deal with the threat, you or the girl? Uh, I think that's irrelevant. Yeah, it's irrelevant. Wh wh whoever, whoever can have. The best outcome of fixing that with with it can be even both at the same time. It can be a cooperation. I think it's irrelevant. What, anyway. if, what, what, what if what if what if I have a gun? I go to the back and I make her. And I, okay, I'll, I'll go open the door and I blast them. Now, now Good. we both. Good. So you went. Good. Fine. That answers the question. I'm okay. not. I'm, okay. not, I'm okay. just oh. trying to add. I, I, trying I, to I actually I actually reverse. Actually, I'm pretty bad at shooting. Let's say I open the door. Then she shot. Uh, am I still the man? I'm trying to make you guys understand. Well, no, no, no. I'm trying to make you understand. Am I still good now that I opened the door and then she shot? Or is that not good enough? That's fine, but that's not the scenario I described. Then the scenario I'm describing are the fact that when it push comes to shove and we end up in unfortunate situations, 
a man has a duty to protect his female. That's intrinsic. That's evolutionary. That's something we were hardwired with. It's something that society has always built into men until recent times. What you're saying now may be fine. If 30 years ago a dude said, I won't go downstairs and I'll tell my woman and we're just both going to hide here together, he would have been mocked forever. That's like, that's, that's insanity. Somebody has to engage and it's the man's job. Just like the men stay on the Titanic, the men go to fight. That's a man's imperative. And I don't care. It doesn't matter that I can fight. If I'm out number 10 to 1 and they have machetes and I'm going to lose, fine. No one's going to rape my chick without me trying. That is my masculine imperative and my duty as a man. The point I'm trying to make is, so let me change the scenario. You're upstairs. You have an AR-15. Three unarmed men break in. Between you and the chick, one of you has to take the gun and go down there and deal with all three of them. She's scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. They're downstairs. Go, go shoot them. Go Why shoot. is she Are scared? Go Why is she scared? And you, you're not... Why only can he, can she be uh, can she be scared? If she if she has tra better better training than I do, if she's better shooter than I, than I am, she's taking a gun, bro. I'm not. I'm if I if bro. She, what? You're in what? my brain. Am I, am I talking Chinese? If, if she, I, bro, if I, she is a better shooter, she's taking a gun. Gonna, you're gonna send your girl downstairs. I don't know, bro. If she's a better shooter, you're damn right she's going that. Of course. How do you know she's a better shooter if you guys have never, like, let's say she never shot like if a yeah, if, you, if you have an F-15, you need to have the training that comes with it. Yes, you do have training. If you're lying, yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably had the training before, before it. Yes. Okay. Hey, well then, so what we've learned from me asking this question is that you, and it's not, this is not an insult. I, I think you'd agree with me saying this. You have no intrinsic desire, no intrinsic duty or intrinsic innate responsibility to protect your female in any regard. Oh my you God. Guys, guys, you guys, I'm going to interrupt. Can, can I please interrupt real quick? I'm going to interject. Okay. Once again, you both agree, okay? You're arguing with the, just to argue because you're not hearing each other, okay? Listen, XQC, what Tate is saying about instinct for males is correct. Our instinct to protect will kick in 100%. Now, the next following step, okay? Is the, the, is the what, technique. Is, what, is, no, what does that mean? Technique, yes. right? It's technique. Yes. XQC is being rational about it. So if you were to, to word it correctly to fit your narrative, Tate, what we would do here is, as a man, XQC would take leadership of the situation and say, okay, I know you are a better shooter than I am. You practice 600 hours a week. I do not. Here is the gun. You are better than me. That takes confidence. Your outlook, Los Pueblos, so is insecure. If she has more gun huh. training, if you, and she has you more would gun die. training you... and she's confident, so... you make the leadership decision. That's your instinct. Make leadership decision. It's not oh, the train. What the hell are you, are you talking about? Train, she's your girl. You she's she's your girl. just said you know send this girl downstairs I would... to confront armed gunmen. Hey, man, listen, like, what are you is... talking about? How am I insecure? That is I irrelevant. My girl. Bro, 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 Crazy. Just okay. imagine. What I'm saying is okay. What I'm saying is okay. They're both right. They're both Trent, right. Trent. Tate right. is there. just imagine Listen, low yeah, spine, oh bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's 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 like hanging out with a bunch of <laughs> testosterone filled men with small. See, dicks. that's Listen. that's what I'm saying. Listen. Listen. Dude. What Tate is saying is correct. Whose instinct kicks in as a, oh, what's the instinct of a man? To protect your yes. girl, protect your kid, protect your family. Yes, Tate is right. That is there. But what the technique to follow is is, is the man to... taking leadership to say, okay. I will shoot and I will miss. But my girl, if she is willing, if she is strong, she's going to step up and she has more hours than me. And she will hit this guy one shot. Do you understand? If you need to be in a word it to, to massage your ego, Los Poyos, and say, okay, I took leadership and I demanded this and she's my frontline soldier, I can you know, word it that way for yourself. Do you know why? Ego. Listen, listen. Do you know why I would do it like this? Because there's a chance, no matter what, going up against someone with a gun that you could die. I don't Rationally, want her to die. If you go I'll with no training, you're dead. You I'll go with no training, he has a gun, you're dead. She can run away. Oh my that's God. what I'm saying, bro. bro. That's not being insecure. That's being the opposite. That's I'm willing to die for my there girl. Is How is that insecure? Bro? That's not the scenario. That's not the scenario. What do you the mean that's not the scenario? If you the can't scenario shoot, is, oh you will die. God. And if she will die too. John Wick can just kill anyone. Like, won, like, bro, there's no fucking way, bro. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Dude. What the fuck? 
What the hell is Jay, this? Jay, oh my god. Jay, you see, I've been listening to you spew bro! crazy shit for mad bro, long. Bro. I'm saying two things. Oh bro, 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 bro. Let me let me let me let me again. No disrespect again. You're a big dude, right? You're a big dude, you're a big dude, you're a big dude. You're getting a big dude, right? 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 <laughs> you're 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 you have a bigger head box, okay? You're sleeping Whoa. and you 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 What the hell is this shit? Settle down. Okay? Don't play victim. And don't play victim. And you, no, 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 play victim. I'm not insulting you. Take shit, I'm not insulting you. Like, you take okay. shit. You're, Why you, okay, you're, 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 you're in bed. You're in bed. You're in bed, okay? With a with a skinny police officer, okay? There's been there's been any duty for 20 years and she was to shoot a gun, okay? And then some guy breaks in and she wakes up with you and the dude with the big head box says says, Lady, don't worry, I got this. Because I'm the man, I take the gun. Bro, people are more of a threat to themselves with a firearm than than, than to others, motherfucker. Okay, okay? fine. If it's then, a, and you go train here comes, police officer, here, fine. Here, here comes what? Here, go, here comes the gun. Here is here the guys. Guys, I'm getting, I'm is, getting hit by what the hell is this shit? Fuck? Here is the like, point. Motherfucker. The point is, Holy shit, man. Here's the point. The question Tate asked was, as a man, what is, what happens when someone breaks in? Yes, as a male, we have the instinct to protect the woman, pr to protect our child, to protect our home. Yes, the instinct is there. He is asking that question, and I am answering yes. As a man, that instinct is there. His headphones are off. He won't hear this, but yes. Now, the... What we're arguing here are the tactics, which is irrelevant. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Yes. Agre okay, then I agree with Tate. I agree with Tate. I agree with Tate. <sighs> yeah, yes. There we go. I don't know, Men bro. are more protective. It, like a, a of, it, 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 it is a built more. instinct, right? It's, it's, a, it's a little bit in our code. I agree. Not, I guess, I, I, historically and scientifically, it's it's on our code to be more to be more defensive. Yes. That's I'll like, tell you why I'm all wrong. What? Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why Polo is right. Oh. You do not send your woman to fight. You have a duty oh. as a man. And to sit here and say the tactics are different, I understand your point, but it's incorrect, and I'll tell you why. When, no. the, Titan the, when the Titanic was sinking, no one was sitting there going, who's a better swimmer, you or me? Who, oh, who, who's better in the cold? Well, you know what, chick? You know what? You actually, you got, you were a better swimmer than me, so if I get on the lifeboat because you're a better swimmer, that, that's bullshit. You're a man and you fucking die. That's the rules. That's the old school Dewey of masculinity to sit here and say, well, my chick might be Dude, better than they are. If, if all women oh, are on the boat no. and nobody I knows how to drive the boat, the boat will sink. If nobody's no, no, skilled enough on. to hold drive on. the boat, on it, they will Christ. sink and die. All of you are You'll so kill all of them no, by trying stop. to be masculine. Please they'll stop. die. Please. Congrats. Uh, let me say one thing. Let me answer the Tate's question, okay? Let me explain the contextual difference. The Titanic example is completely correct, and you're right, Tate. In the Titanic example, okay, there is no swimming. Whoever goes in the lifeboat survives. Whoever does not, dies. As a man, our duty, yes, everyone, because the water is so fucking freezing, you will die. So whoever's in the boat survives, okay? That's a fact. You can't deny the fact. It's a fact. So, yes, you're, so yes, you're right. As a man, we sacrifice as a protective duty, as the rules say for old time honor, we die, the children and the females survive. You're right. But contextually in the situation with the gun, do you understand? It isn't a situation of life and death. Yes, you're right. If it is a situation- But nothing where is my... guaranteed, Trey. Oh, nothing is guaranteed. Even if she no. can shoot better, Los, she let me shouldn't, finish, you, you shouldn't fucking send your girl- You primitive brute. Let me finish, okay? Dude, let me finish. Oh my God. There's no way you're shocked because of this fucking dumb. I, I refuse to believe that a being smart oh, enough to shit. own a computer oh, in this call shit. is that fucking stupid, okay? If Oh, bro, bro, bro. Can I finish? Let, can I finish? Let, bro, bro, bro. Yeah. Let's say. Wait, wait, can I say one example? Let's say. No, 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 no. I got an example for you, okay? The, you you, you have a gun? Bro. The gun is the only way you're gonna survive this, okay? Only way you're gonna survive it, okay? The magazine is under the bed, and your bed is real, and it's bolted to the fucking. It's bolted to the ground, right? Do you, do you say, hey, girl, get the loader under the bed with your small arm that can go through it and get the mag? Or you say, bro, lady, back up, woman. Okay. Woman, back up. You're the woman. I got this. And you can't get the loader. It's okay because at least you at least you're the fucking X, baller man. You tried got... hard, but it didn't pan out. It's okay. And then you both one... die. You're so I know, fucking... I got one example. I have one. You guys are on a hike. It's you and your girl. A fucking bear comes out of nowhere. I'm 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 gonna I listen, we're not escaping this, so I'm gonna say run. I'm gonna jump 
after the bear and let the bear fucking do have its way with me, bro. I'm right. gonna die to right. and she's gonna live. That's Correct. what I'm gonna do. If I that's my girl, bro. I, I can't. I'm Correct. gonna do that. I can't. Correct. That, okay. Okay. That, that's it. That's what okay. I mean okay. by this. Okay. Then, I, mean, I don't then, care if she can shoot better. Like, then you I'm are not gonna both. Then you're shoot. both dead. You, if if the girl knows what to do because she has knowledge about the, about the bear approach, where she can right. sing or talk right. in a way that can make her survive, I shut the fuck up. I point and I say, "You talk, you talk," and then she saves us. We don't run from a fucking bear. What do you think you are? You're a gladiator from Wait, the fucking let, let, let from Tate the, speak. What did Tate say? What did Tate say? Gladiator. You're not a gladiator. Hold up, Max. Hold up. When the bear appears, you don't sit there and argue with your chick saying, well, you went to veterinary school, so you're better with bears, so maybe you can tickle the bear. And you can tickle yeah, the bear. Yes, yes, you do. The fucking man. So what this, what you're doing is this all goes full circle. It goes, back to the very, it goes back to the very beginning of this conversation when I said, when I make points and in the internet, they try and find little fucking stupid little ways out and bullshit, et cetera, et cetera. I was make, trying to make a very, very simple meta point that as a man, you have a duty to protect your female. And now people are coming along saying, no, maybe you protect her better by hiding in the bathroom and sending her downstairs with a grenade. That is fucking fucking stupid you have a duty as a man to protect your female it is your duty it is your masculine imperative all of humanity insists shows it's true all of history shows it's true and for you to sit here and say if someone breaks into my house i have no duty at all to protect my woman if she's scared and crying i might send her ass down there because i can't shoot shows that you have no intrinsic you have no intrinsic desire to protect or provide or look after that female which is why you have no frame in your relationship okay which is why she okay then you you send her ass to the club to get fucked okay. by somebody. Okay, okay, Tate. Okay, Tate, Tate, Tate. It's a great conversation. I've wasted enough of my no, life. No, no, no. Balls. Let me know. But to sit here and talk to a man who thinks he can send his chick downstairs to fucking engage our men, I know I'm wasting to be my life. Okay. To be fair. Okay. Okay. To be okay. fair. The, the to be fair, no, the arm, no, no, the arm man argument was a bad argument. I thought it was. The bear argument, Ew. I agree with. The bear comes out, you fucking go at the bear, and you save the chick. She runs. But in the house argument, it was just a bad argument. 